just an ordinary girl with stellar goals and strong memories. Those hard times will never leave me, so I let it build me up and lead me instead of being beaten down and bleeding. They told me to stop dreaming. But the clouds is where I stay gleaming, reflected where I once deflected, meditated where I once medicated, combating bad habits of giving in and feeding into whatever global media has been streaming. Call me a hothead. For decades I have been steaming, tea kettle flow. They won't hear me till I'm screaming. So they can drink me up and feel better. I'm best served in cold weather. And then maybe you could remember exactly what it felt like when we broke from our fetters, collected up all our clipped feathers to write these self-addressed love letters. I don't come easy because I don't fake it. Don't give a fuck if I make it as long as I make a difference because this community is the consequence of our words and actions. So I'm telling you to shed the pursuit of distraction. Stop adding to the shit pile and start thinking in subtractions. The truth is hard to take. So swallow it down in fractions. I'm setting fire to this stage to let it cause a chain reaction. It's what we like to play. It's
fruit or it's pain. Your love is crucial, it's pain. My bad love, your bad love, I'm not sorry. My bad love, your bad love, I won't say. Your touch is brutal, it's pain. Your love is crucial, it's pain. My bad love, your bad love, I'm not sorry. My bad love. I happen to find another reason why I had to leave you all alone, leave you behind. I had no voice and no choice can it decide. I gave you all of me, all the tears I cried. Besides, you don't love me like you say you do. And we've been fighting about a day or two. And I don't know what I can say to you. And tell me, how can I explain? Your touch is brutal, it's pain. Your love is crucial and say My bad love, your bad love, I'm not sorry. My bad love, your bad love, I won't say. Your touch is brutal and say Your love is crucial and say My bad love, your bad love, I'm not sorry. My bad love, your bad love, I won't say. Uphill was a free five miles home from AAA when we are 31 miles away from home. Our love was stuck in the middle of the road. Our love only had partial coverage insurance. We could only fix one of us. Our love was a passport and I am stamped all over with the ways that he has loved me. Our love was a crisis hotline phone number that I have memorized but I have never called. Our love was Tornado was chasing each other amidst all our own destruction. Our love was expired food, handlers, cards, was raw chicken on a plate. Our love got stuck in between my teeth. My name was never tender in his mouth. Yes. Leaving an emotionally abusive relationship was like learning to see the world again in my own eyes. So, so now the next time, I'll not invest in someone that sees me as a temporary investment. I know not to leave my heart parked in the same spot that he left me. Next time, I will know when to stop putting my energy into things that will no longer move with me. Next time, I will not waste my time trying to fix parts of me that actually need to be replaced. Mm. More importantly, to know that it's okay to be a little broken, but that my self-love still runs just fine without a man's fuel. Next time, I will choose me. I will choose me. I will choose me next time. I will not ignore all the invisible ink. Emotional abuse is still abuse, whether you can see it or not. My body is not a passport that a man can stamp his own hurt onto. Next time, I will call the crisis hotline. I will ask for help. After this, I will still ask for help. Next time, I will not make a home out of a national disaster not seek refuge in the thing that is destroying me. Next time, I will put the fork down. I will see all what a rotten thing I could have put inside my body. Mm. Yes. You got this, poet. I will pull my name from his throat, no longer for a meal that cannot taste all the love that I have to offer. I will not be quiet. I will not choke on my own voice anymore. I will speak my own name proud, like a prayer, and reclaim all of these pieces of me. Yes. Yes.